Guess what day it is? It's time for our release party. Ooh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I scratched you. You're Woo! so excited you stabbed me with your <laughs> finger now. Um, what kind of computer today? Who comes to work with no computer? So I'll tell you the funny story about it. We're okay. in the car, and you know, I carpool with this guy named Randall. And so oh, that we guy. Drive into work, and we weren't very far, and he said, You look in the back seat. Did I bring my computer? And I looked back there, and there was no computer. His computer bag was not in there. So turn around, go back. The good news is I had also forgotten to do my eyebrows. So I ran upstairs, quickly did the How eyebrows. How is that good news? Ran back downstairs. Meanwhile, he's sweeping the front porch. I mean, all then, well, before that, when we turned around, we drove down the side street. And we saw two deer, so mm -hmm. we sat there and watched them for a minute. And we basked in the glory of our detour for the morning. And then swept the porch, did the eyebrows, got in the car, came to work. And when I picked up my computer bag and started walking in the building, something was light. You're like, whoa. Yeah, my computer's at home. I forgot that I was doing some work last night. So thank goodness you did all of that to get <laughs> Randall's computer. Yes. But you forgot yours. It's also a good thing that our ducks are in a row. Our emails were written and scheduled. The blog post for today was all set. So I really didn't need my computer this morning. I have been working in my uh, little craft area in my office, getting ready for projects for today. But it, Erica, is is her job is made a little harder when she doesn't have the computer well, hopefully we can be okay though, right? Manage. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody's question, but we'll be all that right. That is the thing. So, guys, the Today's other release day. good news is we have so many orders coming in that both you and I could probably mm -hmm. spend our whole day helping out in the warehouse. That is true. And you know what? That is true. We don't mind sometimes getting in there, closing like closing down the computer screen, giving our eyes a rest mm -hmm. from that, getting in there, yes. pitching in and helping. You ate some orders this morning, and you guys were making good decisions. Six years ago, we dipped our toe into product, yes. having product, yes. with the stamp of approval collections, and that first box sold out in 59 minutes. That was Nuts. amazing. Yes. I had no idea how many we were going to sell. I mean, when you don't have a product line and you hadn't worked in any kind of company that did, how, how can you predict that. Don't know. You, it's a it's a gamble. So over the last six years, we've gotten a handle on how much inventory we need for different things. And we're pretty good at it, give or take. <laughs> Our friends at Stamp Nation got a three by four stamp set for free this month. And they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> the dies are almost gone too, and we're not sure we're gonna be able to get more dies. So you guys, the dies are not free. The dies are for purchase. We'll see about the dies. We're trying to get more. Bear the comments. But oh, well. for the stamp set, um, if you have already ordered it, I think a couple of you were gonna be emailing you, but um, everyone else, it's sold out right now. More are on order. Our manufacturer is speeding up the process to get us more. Seriously, we have not ever had such a smashing success of a promo. So thanks, guys. So excited that you love it. Those of you that haven't grabbed it yet, no worries. More are on the way. And we will be having our mini Halloween release at the end of the month. So we will still have them then, and you'll be able to pop them on your order then. Uh, we just don't have them right now. So thank you for your patience. Thanks for bearing with us. Thank you for your awesomeness. Um, and Stamp Nation members, we have a class coming up. So I want to talk yes. about that real quick. Do you have any questions? Not so far. I just wanted to say, Lisa Lisa said, I don't need retirement. I just bought it all. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. <laughs> Jules in Calabash, her order is out for delivery. What? I. That's incredible. What? My friend lives in Calabash. That's right now. Did Maybe you, I could get in your box and go look. Did you bring it? Um, did you bring it down to her? I could. <laughs> um, just gas right now. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Stay home and craft. Spend yes. your money on craft supplies. Stay home and craft <laughs> instead of spending instead of money gas. on gas. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the class. <laughs> so our friends at Stamp Nation, we're going to have a Zoom style crafting session. So Amanda Fitterer made these two cards, and I was so blown away by them. I got very excited, and I thought, 
These backgrounds are fun and there's lots of techniques in here. And why don't we get on with Stamp Nation and create them step-by-step -step live with our members. So we're doing that on August 18th. Stamp Nation subscribers, there is a download with instructions and your supply list on the Stamp Nation site. We have also linked it, linked to it in different emails. And uh, if you need help finding it, just email support at catherinepuller.com and we'll point you in the right direction. But it's on the site and you can also just do a search on the site for beautiful fall backgrounds class. You should be able to find it. Uh, so we are going to create these cards. There's a little supply list for you. If you do not want to, or you don't purchase the Blowing Leaves background stamp, no worries. You can still create these backgrounds with something you have on hand. Uh, and Although I, I have, we have seen a lot of people buying. Yeah. You guys yes. are selling us out of this too. So <laughs> we still have stock. We have, you know, a couple dozen of them, but we expect to sell out of this as well. We have already submitted an order for more. Yeah. So, so more will be on the way sometime today. But, but um, if you're a Sam Nation member and you have to have the fall backgrounds, uh, the blowing leaves, hop on and grab it today before it's gone. Okay. And then we're going to do the fall calls for lattes. We're going to add some lattes onto those cards and some pumpkins and whatnot. And so this, this is what you need. Uh, no card frame and tags. Again, you don't have to have this exact item, but that is what we're going to use. And then these ink colors. Also want to grab some window plastic and muzzle on sequins. Yes. Uh, there's a few other things on there. Some of them are kind of uh, discretionary. If you want to have exactly what I'm using, it's just all listed for you here. And there's also prep for the class, so cutting guide for you so you can be all ready for that class. August 18th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are not a member, you still can join and participate in that. Stamp Nation members, if you missed our release party yesterday, I created these two cards along with our subscribers. It was super fun and the replay is available for our members. And we have new inks, friends. New ink. Yeah, we do. So let's look at some things we've already looked at this week in case you missed it. So buttercream, there it is in all its glory. There it is next to whipped honey and shea butter so you can see how different it is. So buttercream is our light neutral. It's a tan, kind of creamy cream shade. It's gorgeous. Uh, oh. Buttercream, spiced, macchiato, cargo, and s'mores. S'mores! So you can see that cargo has a green undertone in there. Uh, spiced looks really great with ginger and terracotta. And then here are all of the neutrals, all of our neutrals stamped out together. <clears throat> so including the three, yeah. Sandcastle, over coffee. over coffee, and icing on the cake right there. Yeah. So that is a review of everything we've been sharing with you all week long. If you missed these, head over to the Facebook page and grab those. I could probably later update update here with the links in case you're watching this five months from now and you can't find these videos. <laughs> Questions yet? No, we're good. Uh, this happy birthday card was made by Lisa Harrell showcasing our new neutrals. Oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous. If you're one of our swatching friends, we also do have a new little neutral color stamp set to go with your swatching stuff. When they purchase bundles, there is a slight discount. Does that apply to the ink bundle as well? Is there should. a slight discount? Yeah, I believe so. Yes. Usually, yeah, there should should be. Yeah. And then someone was saying, um, seeing cargo with a couple of other greens could be fun. I can swipe, swatch that oh. out while you okay. carry on. Okay. So yesterday, we had so much fun with pies. So we have the Perfection Stencil. So we think this is pie perfection, uh, felt like a lattice to us. And then also, you know, the game when you were a kid, perfection, where you fit the little pieces in and then it's like tick, 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 and then it pops and it all falls out. That's kind of what we were feeling with this one. So we call it perfection stencil. We have the pumpkin spice and everything nice patterned paper. Look at these pies. <laughs> They're so cute. So cute. 
<laughs> then we have this great hot tub grid. We have some pumpkin paper, some apples, a polka dot. Oh, I have some, oh no, those are a different pack. What am I missing? Am I missing any here? Oh, the plaid. I guess I used it. I used the plaid. Oh, and the coffee cups. <laughs> so I'm missing those two pieces. I'm not sure where they are right now. Okay, so that is the pumpkin spice and everything night. Oh, okay. Then the Pie Day stamp set and coordinating dies. We used these on Facebook yesterday, so I showed you how to use them. And I'm going to try to take that Facebook Live and put it into a shorter YouTube video, too. Um, crush fingers for me that I can make that happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. So if you want to use the slice of pie, <laughs> can then make cards then like those. You are going to make cute cards if you're using that slice of pie. Sending a slice of thanks. So cute. I love just all the different colors that Christy did on that one card. It's so cute. Yeah. The colors for this. Pink Why champagne. Pie? Terracotta. Ginger, hot tub, sauna, sauna, macchiato, and s'mores. Mm -hmm. So there's the color combo. And then the side pie. You're the apple of my eye. I love you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and happy birthday, sweetie pie. Don't give me side pie. Side pie. <laughs> it's like side I love pie. side pie. Side pie's cute. Then, if you want to just stamp those pies on a background like this, it's you fantastic. should do it. Yes, it's totally fantastic. You can uh, use some metallic paper and cut out a pie tin. Lisa Harrell, you genius! Oh yeah, sending a slice of thanks, and then the little slice. Oh, so cute. The oh, look at this one. Okay. So yesterday I created this card and did the layering and die cutting and this little heart. So let's take a peek. This guy is sized to cut through that guy and look like that. You can be like Christy Goulet and take all the little hearts and inlay them there perfectly and make something that looks like that. So cute. It is cute. Really cute. I've tried to make pies like that in the past. They always look crazy. And then the lattice with a little apple on top. You are the apple of my pie. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like IRL pies, not like a pie with a stamp. Because I think I could manage that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Because you just take you this just guy take that. Mm -hmm. and then just lay all your little... Glue them down mm -hmm. and then take that guy off. Yeah. Cute. Love it. So those are those. You guys, I'm not spilling any beans. <laughs> Let's carry No beans No beans today. today because we're having pie and coffee. Coffee. Coffee's the oh, beans. Oh, the, the beans are co coffee. The beans are coffee. Right oh, here. I have this. Um, oh, you know what? Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me grab this paper. Okay. And do that. So... The lattes here. Yes. So this is the pie paper. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. This also goes with the lattes and leaves bundle. Yes, it does. So here are the lattes. Here is the latte set. Uh, we have latte art to stamp on top of your cups. We have whipped cream to stamp and die cut and put on top of your cup. We have pumpkin, a couple leaves. We have steam. And then some little sprinkles and some fun sentiments. Miss you. Fall is in the air. This calls for coffee. Great news. Meet me for a cuppa. Adorable. And coordinating dies. Blowing leaves. Background stamp. And the so good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Word dies. Erica, did you make this card? I did. It's so cute. And we did a little reel for it. Is it? It's up now, isn't I it? I think it was up last yeah. night. Yeah. So cute. I saw it. So head over to Instagram and find Catherine Pooler over there. And you can see the reel showing this card. It's real good. It's real Adorable. good. Adorable. Mm -hmm. 
And Amanda <laughs> Fitter, you background genius, you making this with the glowing leaves. I might throw this in with the stampation class just to try it because it looks really cool. Then again, Amanda yeah, Federer doing mm -hmm. some direct to paper to make some colored card stock to perfectly coordinate her card. Spicy stripes. Erica, here's another one of yours. Yeah? Yeah. You are loving the hot tub for your cups. It's fantastic. That's more, uh, minted. Oh, this is minted? Mm -hmm. Oh, it looked like, and what is this one? Minted. <gasps> You're right. It was looking like hot. I think you probably could use either. I think though, when I did this one, my blender brush might have had a little something in it, so it made mm -hmm. it look a little more like hot tub. That one mm -hmm. looks more minted because I used a clean blender brush. You know. Like Amy Satura. Saruta. Saruta. Yeah, she guessed it with us this month, and that is gorgeousness. Yeah. I love the gray, like, tonal leaves. Yeah. So pretty. I wouldn't have thought of doing that. That's nice nice job. job. Gorgeous okay. cards. Ooh, look at this. Cargo next to eucalyptus and spruce. Thank you, Erica. That looks wonderful. Yeah, so you can see that green undertone, but these are definitely browns. Um, and when you see them next to colors, um, you can see how they sing. But they're neutrals, so they will absolutely go with anything. Wonderful. Uh, which of the new colors stain? Um, I haven't noticed any staining with them, but I would say if you get any staining, it would probably be spruce because there's more red undertone in that. Spruce? Uh, sorry, spiced. And mm. reds tend to stain a little. So, but staining doesn't affect the staining. performance of your stain. Right. So, but okay. So, Harvest Festival. So cute these patterns. You guys are loving this paper pack too. We're really low on stock of this, but we have reordered. You guys love fall, just like we do. Yes. So let's see. Merlot. Yeah. Apricot, mm -hmm. orange peel, Delish. eucalyptus, <laughs> buttercream, over coffee, cargo. There we go. So those are the colors. And a cute little simple card. I love the uh, buttercream leaves. That's just a fun, fun little thing there. And then Tiffany made a few cards for us this time around. And I love how she did the flicking on the background there and the multicolors on the leaf stamps. I might do that today. We'll see. Grateful for you with a little flag there. Yeah, and then, I think those little white dots with the uh, gel pen makes an interesting. It's beautiful. Yeah. Fun effect. I like that extra detail yeah. she added there. And then a lot of patterned paper on this card, which you guys are always asking for ideas with patterned paper. And then, oh yeah, this Amy calls for coffee. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> Tiffany with the bunny and the stack of leaves. We've been so, ooing and eye yeah. over this concept, so. So fun. So we have lots of different critters that you can pop out from underneath that pile of leaves. Many of our peeking pets, our critter crew. Uh, There's yeah. pops and peeps in your pops hand. Pops and peeps. Um, but we also thought that the uh, Woodland Wonder stamp set would look really good. With and that. the Happy Camper uh -huh. stamp set would be really fun. These are hard to see. But they're yeah, well these loved. are well loved and used, but <laughs> Woodland Wonder with the squirrel and the little hedge of pine. I think with the fall finds, <laughs> because of the scale, uh -huh. this Woodland Wonder would be so cute to, to mix in. So fall finds stamp set and dies. The thank you, all in one thank you. That's what it looks like when it's die cut. And then the crisscross applesauce cover plate. So that is everything. Those are all of the ideas. And all now it's time something. to stamp. So with Tracy, with the plaids, we have been doing some plaid paper packs with some of our spa colors. Definitely check the shop for those. If you've missed them, they are delicious. Um, they're monochromatic plaid patterns with spa colors. Um, so there's like zen plaid and beach plaid. They're yummy. So defo check those out. I took the, what is this called? 
that round. one is the roundabout dies. Round, is that roundabout? I think so. Okay. So I took these die cut like this. And then I got the oh, situation. Sorry, those are the double uh, double duty, duty dies. dies. Double duty. Double duty circle dies. And then can add this with the plaid. That looks oh. really, really cute. Could also take this circle and put it right in there like that. Sure could. Do a little sentiment. Add a little sentiment. Add a little coffee cup. Oops, I just bumped my... Whoops. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Okay. So, coffee cup. I think I want to use this one. I love that one. So there's like a little tin cup, you guys, with a pumpkin on it that says I love fall, which is adorable. There's this takeaway cup with the apple pattern on it, which is so cute. Um, a regular like paper cup with a sleeve, the latte glass, and then this ceramic mug with the leaf pattern. Um, so a lot of different options in there for uh, your beverages. And with the additions of like the whipped cream toppers and the latte art, there's just a lot of mixing and matching that can be done with this uh, stamp set. It is a six by eight, so they are like a fab size. You can put several cups on a card. You can just put one. You can go slim line. You could go square. Mm -hmm. You could go mini. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. And these are going to be a really great um, size for a lot of different person, like a lot of versatility in your card making. So the sticky mats from Misty are yes. back in stock. Yes. Let me show these real quick. So you oh, get three one. in a pack. Oh. oh are you hoarding them? From? We're whipping <laughs> these out left and right. Kevin's hoarding <laughs> them. So we put these in the shop in February, and they sold out in uh, 30 minutes, I think. And then we've been waiting to get them back in stock, and they are now. So these are great for your Misty. They're uh, low tech, so that your projects will stay put when you're using the Misty. I am also finding them very useful for stuff like this. When I do all of my die cutting and then I just add these on here and then they don't, you know, flop around and make a mess all over my desk. Mm -hmm. And then I just found another use for it. I like to, well, let me rephrase. When I stamp and die cut and then color, if it's a small image, sometimes it's kind of hard to hold onto while you're coloring. So sometimes I'll take, I'll just put a little bit of adhesive on the back, or I'll take some heavy memo, heavy doodle memo tape. You can also just stick it on your sticky mat, and then it won't move around. It just stays put. Cute. Oh, I like that an apricot. Thanks. If you're watching the replay, you already know, but if you're just joining in, this is our brand new All Things Fall collection. Hit the shop today, August the 3rd, 2022, and we are pretty stoked about it. Oh, yeah. Okay. You missed one little spot. Oh, that's part of the leaf. Never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> no worries. I probably would have colored that orange and then later been like, oh, whoops. That wasn't right. Good so, job, Erica. Eucalyptus. Yeah. I want really light. Now, with this color combo and your eucalyptus, if you wanted to color in your images and you still want everything to coordinate really yummy, mm. all you have to do is grab your spot color wheel which you can download from our website you'll go to the eucalyptus column and then you can use a lighter so she could grab green tea or lemongrass use that on her coloring and it's still going to coordinate deliciously with the other colors in her paper pack so absolutely just a little pointer mm -hmm. but you can also kind of control it with the color but if you're nervous or you yeah. don't get the desired just, effect just go lighter grab that color color wheel Let's go orange for these guys. Maybe I should do one or two of these brown. Defo. Which color brown? Cargo. <clears throat> you were very emphatic about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of cargo in this pack of paper. Yeah. And it's going to look really yum with that orange in eucalyptus green. 
I think I need to grab the eucalyptus again and add a little more shading. So this is a blender pen in case you haven't seen it before. It's basically a clear marker. If you just do a little bit of ink in the tip and then just scribble it off on your scratch paper to get rid of the color, then you're going to be good to go. Or you can have one for reds and one for blues. I think that's what you do, Erica, right? Yes. Oh, fun. So you had a fun idea of, um, with your cutout mats over here, you could make a spinner card. Spinner cards are fun. We don't often make interactive cards. Yeah. Some people, that's your jam. I love seeing them. I always yeah, get really excited. We had a class one time at Stamp Nation, and um, Leslie from Happy Doodle guested and did a cool oh. interactive card. It was like a pop-up card, and I thought, I can't do this. And then I sat down and watched the class and made the card, and I was so proud of myself. Oh. I was like, oh, I did do it. It is impressive when you finish. <laughs> that is for sure. Hashtag I made this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see how this looks in cargo. We didn't consider how dark that color is. But it lightens up a little. You're doing a... You're getting it in there and thanks. With our inks too, you'll find that as they dry, they, they even out to the color that's intended. So sometimes they are a little teeny bit darker at first and then um, they dry to perfection, to the shade of perfection. And they are translucent so you can layer them. So as you can see, Catherine's adding shadows in just by adding more color to one area. Let's see how this is shaping up. Champion colorer over here. <laughs> You're a little oh, bit no. tight in the frame. Can you zoom out? Yes. Yeah. Thanks. We're not going to be able to see what's happening. Oops. Okay. There we go. It's good to zoom in for coloring. That is adorable. It is adorable. I would like to add some leaves, leaves. too. Mm. So could use the ones that come with the set or... You can come over here and grab some of these beauties. Cute. So let's see. And so the Fall Fine stamp set is solid stamps, so you were able to stamp them, like, solidly. Yes. And the leaves that are in this um, Fall Calls for Lattes are line art, so they'd have to be colored in. So I like mixing and matching that. Yeah. It's a nice uh, variety of styles. That will also go really well together. Okay. So let's do a little foam tape on here. <clears throat> oh, okay, hold on. Carissa, I totally know what you're talking about. Do you have a, one of those old school Santa mugs where his head is the mug? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That would be adorable as a stamp. Uh-huh. Put that in my back pocket. <laughs> and this mat that the die cuts are on is the Misty Sticky Mat. I'm going to slip in here. Ta-da. We have a restock of these in the shop right now. The Misty was back ordered on them, but she has them, so we have them. <laughs> Yay! We've been waiting for a long time. Like Ileana, so send us more of those. Yeah, I like those face shape mugs. In our um, mug shot stamp set, there's a cat mug that is so cute. It's a cat head. And uh, Elena, who's on our design team, mm -hmm. sent me one of those mugs in the mail. It was Aww. so cute. I love it. Love, love, love. Love a kitty cat mug. Love a Santa mug. Uh -huh. Love a reindeer mug. <laughs> that looks cute. I think I'll just adhere those behind the mug. Yes. And I can't glue this piece down yet. I put tape on it and then realized I hadn't stamped my sentiment yet. So we're going to have to figure that out. Okay. Sue, I think when you, when I did the latte mug and colored it in with spiced and then you put the whipped cream with the cinnamon sticks on top, it totally looks like a chai. 
totally looks like a chai tea latte. Mm. Let's pop this acorn up. I love the acorns. They are so cute. <laughs> you have a pink Santa mug? We're going to have to talk about that later, girl. <laughs> okay, that's fun. I keep... um looking up at my screen and then I get my hair my head in the way here sorry about <laughs> that my friend so sentiment we're here I don't know why I'm not wearing my glasses because I'm trying to look at something that's kind of small but we're managing to keep up today fall is in the air this calls for coffee meet me for a cuppa Let's see will fall is in the air fit in there because that one's kind of nice with that. It's a very fall forward card. Yeah. I was thinking of this calls for coffee uh -huh. and then great news. Cute. Because my oldest daughter might be starting her big girl job soon. <laughs> so I made her that other card and I don't think I ever gave it to her. Oops. I've got to go find that and make sure she gets it. Okay. This calls for coffee. Let's see if this is going to work. Almost. So. Do you have another circle I, cut out or can you fix that? I think that? I do. Do you want to see about. Yeah. If there's one in there. Oh, and then I've already done that too. Do you guys do that? What'd you do? Glue all your layers together and then realize you got to add sentiments. I mean. Which size is that? Hmm. Um, there, that looks good. These are all colored. I'm gonna have to cut another one out. Okay. This is gonna go right here. Okay. Do do do. What happened to the die cutting machine? I just tripped over it. <laughs> Pop that sucker on the floor this morning. We're running out of space. How did our desk get like? Your desk is like twice as big. As it was in our old office, and now we're running out of space. You just get cozy, don't you? Just spread I out. I get cozy. I spread out all over the place. Ta -da. Thank you. Just pop that down on the desk. Okay. Now you have this little border. Thank you. Oh, the little ring. Yeah, it's cute. Hmm. Great news. Hold on. Got to make sure I get this lined up. Oh, you pulled that apart when I wasn't looking. I pulled what apart? The whole card. I, I didn't. Oh, well, I, I haven't you glued, on I your... glued it together yet. Oh, but I okay. Had, well, I had this piece glued on the plaid, but I didn't have the rest of it glued yet. Okay, so this calls for coffee. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Does anybody else make a massive foam tape all over the back of their projects? Or is it just me? I, I, I do. I'd be janky with my foam tape. Okay, so this is going to go here like that. And then this is going to be Patty Wampus. Yes. If you're pro Caddy Wampus, make a comment. Yes. <laughs> or if you're very neat and tidy, say, I'm neat and tidy. Can't handle a Caddy Wampus. Do not do that to me. I like things a little asymmetrical. There. Oh, do we need some sequins? Definitely. Okay. Where are my Mazda words? I think Dublin would be really cute on there. Probably. Where's Dublin? So Mazatlan has some great neutral sequins as well as a few pink. And then Dublin has buttercream and green. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Hi. Spillage. <laughs> Lid that. Yes. <laughs> Lid. Lid that. There's English for you. <coughs> Pop a lid Thank on you. it. Yes. 
And I know I had my little jewel picker around here somewhere. So we'll do one here and then maybe it's right there. here and here. In the front of that container. Wonderful. Oh no, not that. Nope. That's a water pin. Right here. Okay. This is fun. Thanks. I love those sequins that kind of feel buttercreamy. And then that subtle pop of green is going to be so pretty. Uh-huh. You guys. There. So cute. Tiffany, are you a pro Caddy Wampus? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes, Debbie. Okay. Da, da, da. Flora, if you missed it earlier, I said good decisions were being made. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to make a pie card too? I'm for it. I'm here for it. I wanted to make a cherry pie today. Nice. So we'll set this one aside. I'm pretty tickled with this card. Thanks. I'm happy with it too. So if you missed yesterday, we wore this stamp out. We used it and used it and it was wonderful. <laughs> Would you mind grabbing me rock and red? I'm gonna do some cherry. And we're going to do the lattice. Thank you. And we're going to do the pie crust. And how about these little dollops of whipped cream? They're so cute. I think if you made cherry whipped cream, it would be pink. So, Ooh. but could do it like it's a girl. Could do a uh, cherry whipped cream on top of a cherry pie. Yeah. Could do that. And would you mind grabbing me a blending brush for the crust? Oh, Do yes, please. this one's kind yes. of brown. So the pie, the circle stamp for the pie is a, a little larger than the die cut, so it's nice. You don't have to worry so much about lining it up because it's it's a little bigger. It's pretty easy. And then for this guy. Oh, yeah. Sue said, <laughs> we just said Caddy Wampus and her dad would have said or said Kitty Corner, and I've totally mm. heard Kitty Corner. Kid corner yeah. <laughs> so let's do apricot and spice. Okay. So ink up that pie crust with apricot, and then just ink blend a little bit of spice around the edges just for a little blendy look there. Did you mean to use the, oh no, that's right. I forgot you had that other crust going in the middle. I like that texture, that's pretty. Thanks. So for the lattice on top, I prefer, after playing with this, I really like an ink blended look over the top. I think it looks um, kind of a little more natural-ish. As natural as paper can look. <laughs> more like a real pie crust. And you know, I could, I wonder what it would look like if I just did that to this whole thing. Let's try it. Instead of using the stamp, because you definitely can use the stamp. Well, I like though that the stamp still adding like a little darker edge to that. Oh, well, you're blending it out now. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. Because I think this set um, works with the stamps just the dies, use them together, use them alone. I think there's just so many ways to mix and match the products. It's just so versatile. All right. So, so cute. let's assemble this cute little pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a stamp set here. Ta-da! Da, da, da. Cherry filling is in. What is y'all's favorite pie? Mine is probably chocolate chess and cherry. And if I had them together, that would even be better. Oh, this lattice is 
my favorite pie place in back home, I like to get their uh, coconut pie and their chocolate pie and then eat them together. Say that again. They coconut have, they have coconut chocolate? pie, like a baked coconut Ooh. custard pie, and then baked chocolate custard or chocolate um, chest pie. I like to get a half a slice of each and eat them together. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I put that on there crooked. It's really bothering me, but not that I can do about it now. <laughs> it's tough to acknowledge that. Um, Buttercream. Mm, that's cute. Whipped cream. Or. Pink champagne, champagne whipped cream. You guys vote. Now it's tiny. You want to lift it up? So cute. Saskatchewan pie. You guys just keep making things up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've learned it. We learned about butter pie the other day. We did. So I thought it would be fun to bring out the scallop duo. Oh, cute. Hashtag duo. Yeah. Ooh, lemon mm -hmm. meringue, Dutch apple. You guys, you're making me all these cheesecake. Yes, that'll work. These could be cheesecakes. You could definitely make this into a cheesecake. Oh, cheesecake. I love you. Oh, Saskatoon, not Saskatchewan. Or did I read it wrong because it's small and I don't have my glasses on? They're on my head and, you know, that's where I like to keep them. <laughs> Key lime. Yes, let's make pie. Oh, you guys, I haven't the stamp. Would you? Oh, I, was, I did it on the wrong side anyway. Ta-da! Okay. Well, there we go. That piece just fixed itself. Yeah. Okay, we got to vote for the buttercream. Okay. I'm kind of leaning towards the buttercream with the other colors that you have on the card. And, um, but I don't think you could go wrong. I was thinking of doing a little slice as well and maybe a couple hearts we'll see okay you get a slice so apricot and then i'm just going to sponge on the spice again onto the pie a crust we'll see what happens kind of feel like i need to Let's see, you know, no harm in trying. Let's try to stamp it again. Oh boy, here she goes. Uh -huh. I didn't do it very well. Eh, it's all right. It's not too bad. <clears throat> <laughs> I think it needed to be darker. So let me try spiced with maybe a little bit of ink blending with the, ooh, let's just try this. I don't know. Freestyling. Yeah. <laughs> what did someone call it yesterday during our stampation? I don't know. I forget. It was hilarious. Okay. Another vote for the buttercream. Nope. Whipped cream. Ooh. Let's just go straight spice and see what happens. Well, you've got, that's got other colors on there. Oh, no. There you go. That's what we're going to do now. <laughs> when I get it like that and it's like a little teeny bit off, I just trim it. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. That works. Lots of cream. Yeah, buttercream for the frosting. Or the whipped cream. Buttercream, whipped okay. cream. Okay, buttercream. Yeah, oh, Flora, I've had maple pie. I think I had it in Maine. Or in Vermont. Maybe it makes more sense that I had it in Vermont. And then the crisscross applesauce covered yes. on top. To go with all the lattice. I need some twine. And then... Use the perfection stencil on there. Let's see. Some twine would be fine. How about this? Oh. Would that be cute? It would be cute. It needs a pop mm. more color, I think. It does. So I'm thinking about maybe I make this background apricot. You want me to grab an ink blending brush? I'm just going to do direct to paper. Okay. Let's we'll see what happens. She's getting in. Free range stamping. That's what it was. <laughs> Hilarious. That's wonderful. <laughs> I like Catherine to be free range. I also want to do some flicking. Yes. So. Ooh. Can you? Oh, I was going to say just take one of the browns. The ink refills in the browns. Oh, 
totally could do that. You going metallic -y? I love these metallic I know, they're gorgeous. So here's a little key and all the little hands. This one? Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking. Great minds. You could also do a little brown. Good. <laughs> she wants to do brown so bad. Mm -hmm. I would totally go with macchiato. Or I would totally go with spiced. Because that's going to up your spice factor. Because you've got a lot of spice going on here. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. see what happens when I do this. you got spiced and grateful right in front of you. Chess pies are baked pies, so they're like custard pies. So you know how sometimes people say, oh, I made you lemon pie, but they never baked it. The crust is baked, but the filling is just refrigerated. That is not a chess pie. A chess pie has um, egg and uh, milk in the base with the lemon flavor, and then it bakes solid. And it is the same way you would do like a chocolate chess pie. These are the twine colors that we have indefinitely at this point. Um, well, as we have them. Are they asking for more twine colors? Yeah. Yeah. Babs, have we ever done a class where we provide supply lists and people craft along? We have one coming up. It is for our Stamp Nation members. So, um, I am so excited about that. So just really briefly to explain, uh, we have a membership group called Stamp Nation. Um, members pay a small monthly fee. They have access to a website with a lot of, uh, we've been had Stamp Nation for uh, over 11 years. Mm -hmm. So, um, there are classes in there and challenges. We do swaps. We have a private Facebook group. Um, and then we have behind the scenes and private events for them. And we are doing a class just like that. Zoom style. August 18th. So everyone can craft right along with us. Yep. The supply list has already been emailed out. It's also on the Stamp Nation website. So if you were new, you'd be able to get that. So we hope you'll check it out and join us because members always get so many great perks along the months and the quarters in the year. It's a great Great membership to be a part of. I think quarter and year oh my. Oh, yes. All right. So let's add some twine. I want it to be a little bulky, so I'm just going to double up. Double it up. Mm -hmm. Thread it through and give it a tie. I think this color goes great with the apricot ink. Looks really nice. Ha, oh, so cute. It's adorbs. Sweet as pie. Um, yes, Tiffany, good point. We are a fun bunch of yes. hanging out with the Stamp Nation crew. We let our hair down. So we had a, a live with them yesterday afternoon at three and made some cards and chatted and laughed and had a grand, a grand old time. We're really excited about our 7 p.m. class because it's a different, we haven't done that time yeah. slot in a while. Long time. We like hanging out here. Go and on circuit again. It helps when people are in different parts of the world that uh, we try to switch up times here and there so that other folks can participate. Making it work. Popping oh, I it think up. This is the wrong one. I think it's, is it that one? Yes. Oh, just cut another piece. Oh, it came off. What the heck? And then Belinda, meant to sister friend. It is hot in North Carolina too, but let me tell you, bring on the fall. Okay. Cute. I need a couple sequins to polish it off. And I think I want to use these apricot ones. Cute. Oh, 
was fun. So, our release hit the shop yesterday for Stam Nation, Stam Nation members. members and general ordering <laughs> opened this morning. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, some of our products are a little bit low in stock. You guys have been in there shopping and grabbing your favorites. And if something is sold out, don't fret. Uh, we have been placing reorders with our manufacturers so you guys can get your crafty fix. We have a Halloween release, a small mini release coming up at the end of the month. So if there's anything that's sold out that you weren't able to grab during this round, everything will be restocked by the end of the month, I'm assuming. And yeah. Yeah. As, as long as everything goes according to plan. Yes. I know some of our manufacturers are having some issues with staffing, so some things are taking a little longer, uh, so just bear with us. But here are the two cards for today. This is um, almost a monochromatic card with a pop of red. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. It's sweet. Thanks so much for being here with us. I had so much fun making these cards. I love fall card making, and you guys do too. You do. You've all got good taste. <laughs> <laughs> you have very good taste. Yes, and it is hot. So grab your favorites and then get into your crafty space and just pretend that your AC is making it cool <laughs> <laughs> and pull in the fall vibes. Get yourself ready for the upcoming season. Yes. Here's a quick look at our collection, The Browns. Those are all in the shop now. You can grab them, complete your collection, have a wonderful variety of neutral ink colors for all your card making projects. And I hope you will subscribe, like, and share our channel. It helps YouTube know that you like our content. And then they push us out more to other friends and we so appreciate it when that happens. Helps us grow and continue with our card making journey. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you on Thursday and Friday on Facebook, creating more with these fun products. Yeah. Have a wonderful day. Be there or be pie. <laughs> see you then.